Wider reading around your subjects at A-level comes highly recommended to help support your chances of a top grade. So here are three books that I would strongly recommend to any candidate studying A-level chemistry. Have you ever wondered how lipstick can shimmer? Why some fats are better than others? How Viagra works? What is the best way to kill germs? And why Prozac makes you feel so good? This is John Emsley's book of Vanity, Vitality and Virility. And it's definitely on my recommended reading list for anyone studying A-level chemistry, but in particular, those students who are studying A-level chemistry alongside A-level biology and might even be thinking of a career down the line in medicine or looking at studying something like biochemistry at university. This is an absolutely terrific book to support your wider reading in A-level chemistry. It's just a little pain to get hold of, although I myself, for students who I work with, have managed to get hold of two copies secondhand for about four pounds each in the last week at the time of publishing this video. So it can't be that bad. You just might need to do a little bit of digging to get hold of this absolute classic. The book itself is pitched just to the right level, if I'm honest, for someone who is interested in A-level science and taking it just that little bit further. It's got some fantastic chapters for students studying chemistry and chemistry with biology A-level as well. So for example, this one I've marked up for chemistry students here. This is Vitality Food for Thought, and it's all about fatty acids, vitamin C, and the structure of sort of chemicals in food more than anything else. The book itself doesn't just sort of give a structure, uh, tell you about the different functional groups, for example, and then move on. It goes into the history behind some of the substances. It talks about applications. It talks about why we need them. It's really, really interesting. There's a really good biology chapter as well, which is all about the human brain. So this is the chapter uh, which is called It's All in the Mind. It's a really good chapter for those of you studying biology as it provides that link between chemical substances like antidepressants and biology of the human body. So I think that would be a particularly good chapter for those students thinking of going on to medicine, psychology, for example, and studying biology alongside A-level chemistry. That'd be a great chapter to look at. Unlocking their astonishing secrets and colourful pasts, Periodic Tales is a voyage of wonder and discovery, showing that the elements' stories are our stories and their lives are inextricable from our own. This is an absolutely amazing book. This is really easy to get hold of. This is Periodic Tales by Hugh Aldersey Williams and it is absolutely brilliant. This is really high up on my list of recommended reads for A-level chemistry. It's a great standalone book as well if chemistry is the only science you're studying or if you're doing chemistry with maths. It's really easy to get hold of so it's not particularly expensive and it's not hard to dig through different websites to get it. It's amazing. It effectively takes you through the periodic table looking at different elements, discussing their history, their applications, their value. It's absolutely incredible. I would really recommend this for anyone studying A-level chemistry. I would even recommend this to people who are just starting on their A-level journey because it's got that content in which will map itself to as you're studying further understanding of the periodic table. So I would definitely recommend this for anyone studying A-level chemistry. I don't think this would be a very good recommendation for a wider reading video if I didn't mention this. So this is Why Does Asparagus Make Your Wee Smell by Andy Brunning. This is up there with my favourite sort of popular science books that I would recommend for A-level chemistry students. It's brilliant. It's very simple, straightforward in terms of its presentation. So you can see that effectively the book gives a profile of different structures and substances found within something. So for example, asparagus. So you've got asparagustic acid there. And then it tells you about the structure of that substance and further applications. There's just loads of really good detail in this. And it gives you profiles of different molecules all the way through. The website itself that's tied to this, it's called Compound Interest. It's really good. It gives you excellent information. 
just towards, just past, just around that A-level science understanding. So it's very accessible. This is great. It's not like a really challenging read. It's something that you would hop in and out of, but I myself have gone into this book and taken structures out and used them in end of topic tests because it is really interesting to see how these molecules apply to the everyday world. And I would definitely recommend this as something you would hop in and out of throughout your study of chemistry, but particularly for those of you who are looking at organic chemistry, this is the one to go for.